Today, artificial intelligence is rapidly transforming the translation industry and along with it, the way we train professional translators. That's why I'm deeply committed to conducting research with direct implication for teaching practices. In recent years, the language and translation industry has been shaped by a technological boom, largely driven by the advent of AI tools, such as neural machine translation and, lately, chatbots. As a result, the professional landscape is evolving rapidly, making the adaptation of translation training programs a critical and pressing need. In this context, Perrine Schumacher's work focuses on an ever-growing practice in the language services sector, post-editing. This process involves human translators reviewing, editing and improving translations generated by machine translation systems. The aim is to ensure the translation meets the required quality standards, making it accurate, fluent and suitable for its intended purpose and readership. In my research, I investigate the impact of post-editing on text quality in an academic context. And I also assess translation students' knowledge and perceptions of machine translation and post-editing. By doing so, I also hope to provide insights that can contribute to the ongoing discussions about updating translation training programs. One of the key findings from my research is the leveling effect on text quality in post-editing. This phenomenon means that students with weaker translation skills tend to benefit more from post-editing, while those with stronger skills are likely to produce lower quality results when post-editing. She conducted two controlled experiments with translation students, comparing the outputs of two translation processes from English into French, human translation and post-editing. Her analysis integrated quantitative methods such as descriptive and inferential statistics and automated linguistic analysis with qualitative methods, including human quality assessment and linguistic error analysis. Drawing on her findings, she strongly advocates for the balanced integration of post-editing into translation curricula, emphasizing the development of informed and responsible use of machine translation tools. Today, with the introduction of powerful and freely available generative AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini, it is now possible to combine machine translation with increasingly efficient post-editing and paraphrasing technology. So if we want to meet the new challenges posed by these chatbots, we need to study their impact on the text quality and on the translation process. From there, we can explore how to integrate them effectively into the classroom, preparing the students to adapt to the evolving landscape of the translation industry.